everyone my name is Liz welcome back to the channel or welcome if it's your first time I hope you choose to subscribe to stick around for more content if you like this give it a thumbs up I apologize for our little break but today we're back for some early finisher areas I took this video a little bit earlier in January we're getting around to editing it and doing a voiceover because early finisher area needed a little organization so I stayed after one day to take care of that and I thought I'd film it for everyone because this is an area that it took me a while to figure out in my classroom but it's been very helpful and my kids love it and I love it and subs love it and my admin loves it so I thought I would share it with all of you. I've also had some visiting teachers in my classroom this year and they also really enjoyed it and took lots of pictures of it. So some options you've already seen here are word searches that I put in dry erase pockets. I try to have like a seasonal one and a holiday one. Here I have some of the spiral art makers. I got these at the Dollar Tree. I just have like three or four. Um, I don't need a whole class set, which is nice, and I can even pull these out as a center when I'm doing some, like, center work, which is another um, nice part of my early finisher area. We also have some blocks here. I have foam blocks. We have coloring pages that are in the organizer up top. I have some dusters, some cars. We pull these out to paint with as well. I have some little critters that we pull these out to draw from and some little finger puppets. I have regular dry erase boards that we pull out to sketch on and practice drawing on all the time. I'm going to rearrange some of the tools for those today. I have lots of dinosaurs. Those are always a big hit. Um, I will pull those out to press in clay for first grade clay dino fossils. So you can already notice these have a lot of double duty so they don't waste space in my art room. And the kids can always see that they are used for lots of different things, which is nice. Above this early finisher area, you can see I have a board with just some examples of what every grade is doing. And above that, it says, did you do your best work? And around it, it has some reminders to try, 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 draw light first, effort. It's called artwork for a reason, etc. Because the early finisher area is also an area that reminds kids to do their best work first and that our artwork is our first priority. Or the early finisher area can be temporarily closed as well. So this board is some has some reminders on it. The board that's right above my head right now has reminders of what to do before we are ready for the early finisher area. So it has some reminders to sign our work, double check our own work, have a friend tag with us if we need to, clean up our space, and then we're ready for early finisher and also to turn in our work if we need to. This area is also right next to our hallway shelf. So everything's kind of in a central location for the kiddos. I teach preschool through eighth grade and um, this honestly works well for all those areas. It also works really well for um, when we have a day where we have a lot of absences and we need a lot of kiddos to catch up on things. I don't have to plan another activity for the kiddos who are all caught up. They can have an early finisher activity and kids never feel like they've been left out either because I always allow them to go grab a coloring page or a blank paper if they need to. The blank paper is just printer paper. However, I do cut it in half usually, so that way they don't waste it. Here's a better view of this area. I also have a book shelf, like a toddler bookshelf that was donated to me, which is awesome. And you can see where we have our hallway shelf, our board, and some other um, reminders over here for a little bit of a better view. So here we have our visual and written reminders for the steps to kind of finish up work. And then right off the view here we have our hallway shelf that is also a visual cue that the students should have handed in their work if they're ready for the early finisher area as well you can see some extra flexible seating i'm going to be organizing as well some yoga mats cut in half that are older yoga mats 
and some pillows and some floor seats. I like to go through the these are step-by-step -step drawing books I like to have over here as well. I like to go through them and kind of rotate them out on the other side of the room. I have my little classroom library. I like to kind of rotate these out and keep them fresh, even though the same options have been in my room for about two years now. These students really seem to enjoy just seeing different ones in different places. It kind of reminds them of what's available. We pull these out for projects, for early finisher, etc. And I have gotten these from library sales. I um, let some different librarians know I'm keeping an eye out for them so when they're weeded out from libraries I get them from there as well. I also rotate out some of the centers in my early finisher area sometimes too so I will um, take out some centers. So here I'm taking out the origami center just because I've noticed that it hasn't gotten as much love and attention lately. I'm going to kind of organize it first so that way when I pull it out next time it's ready to go for me. And I'm going to kind of just give the centers that are here a little bit more space. We're now going into like a holiday season where I might have a special option here. So I had some like dreidel centers out here where they could origami some dreidels. And then also I had um, some stamp stations out here for holiday cards as well. Some things that students might like to do, but that I'm not gonna do whole group um, due to maybe religious reasons or just cur curriculum. So um, around Valentine's Day, I'll probably put more card stations out here. So here's an overview of what it looks like all organized. And this is the only time I've had to organize it all year. I was just kind of switching things out. So we've got our blocks, dinosaurs, cars, puppets, whiteboards, paper, colored paper, some options in dry erase sleeves, cleaning the room, coloring sheets, and then all of our board reminders, which these are some older things. And this is what that whole area of that corner of the room looks like. We've got our board for reminders here. This is a closer look of what it looks like. Our drawing books and then my hallway shelf needs a little love. But this is what that looks like as well. Thanks for joining me today. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think.